Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So I heard a lot of feedback from you guys saying that you guys found my channel from videos that I've made in the past that was like this one right here. This is my San Francisco fish tour video and a lot of you guys are telling me to make videos just like this again. Well, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today with my same friend, we're going to the same store and uh, hopefully we can pick up some nice fish. So if you're in the Bay Area and you haven't been or seen Sixth Ave in San Francisco, you guys should probably check it out because it's like a surprise every time you go. Like you, you can't really predict what's there. So I got my Giardini Arowana that I got a long time ago. That was from that store. The Climbing Perch is actually from that store too. And that wolf that we have right now is from that store too. And then my friend that helped me get it, he's gonna be the one that's coming with me. So let's go ahead and head to his house because we have to pack up one of his fish. He's gonna bring it there to donate. And then um, yeah, we'll be on the way. Remember those days, those L's I could sleep right now I get paid, fake games, stay in peace I break in the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign Who in there? Oh, there she is She looks kinda, she looks kinda dirty, no? Uh, no, that's just, uh, that's just her coat Looking <laughs> <laughs> right. a, little, look a little dirty right there <laughs> You wanna try to vlog here, sir? <laughs> Here's <laughs> such a motherfucker <laughs> She's uh, camouflaging. Oh yeah, I can't even see her. <laughs> oh, there she is. Dude, wolf, dude. It's a wolf. It's a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why did they do that? Maybe she's mad at the dog. Nah. It's me. Yeah. Alright, we gotta go. Definitely. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> His uh, antennas, like they're split. Dude, this is sick. At least this is from the original. Okay. So sick. Wolfie. <laughs> Your wolf's always hiding, huh? Oh, yeah. shit. He's not so much compared to yours. Is it? It looks kind of the same. Really? It, it, looks, it looks really on par. Yours looks hella bigger. I think because I think because the, uh, the the tank the tank looks more compact because I have more um, plants, uh, maybe. but it, it's 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 very similar. What's it do? Is that what he does? Uh, not really? Oh well, yeah, actually, yeah. He just finds him there whenever I show up. It's pretty sick. He's always hungry. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Damn. 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 Sick. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, watch out now. Sick. That looks. That actually looks really cool. It does. It looks. It, it looks. Uh, it looks like. It looks like it's glowing. It's like it's holographic. Yeah. It would look pretty cool in the pond. It would, cause the, the top down, the head looks hella nice. Yeah. That's just huge. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah! All right, let's go, dude. This is a a very familiar situation that we're in. Round two, baby. Round two. You see if the fish is okay. Oh, you're looking bad with that bucket, dude. <laughs> it looks so <all> bad. Kind of a little shit through you guys. You got some fun in that bucket. Follow me. Yeah. <laughs>
Right here. 72. Okay. Put it in 72 then. All right, thank you. Oh, electric cat. Electric cat. No? No? Yeah, don't, um, you know, you wear a back glove. I honestly didn't know where I was going. I was just, I was just trying to find yeah, the door. It, it looked like you finally work here. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like everyone works here. Just get one of these. Marijuana? Yeah. Dude, I, just, <laughs> I just got rid of the RTC. <laughs> oh, yo. Yeah. What is that? Yo, this, this is the, these, these are the ones. Huh? These are the, the nice ones. Dude, there's a there's a flounder over there. Oh where? Oh, what's up though? Oh, we got it flounder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, This shit look hella sad, bro. Do you gonna buy him back? This sells you for thirty dollars. <laughs> That's just how it looks. That's how they look. That's just how they look. Nah, it's too, it's too, uh, too dormant for me. I feel like when he gets comfortable, it's gonna not be dormant. <laughs> oh wait, where'd he go? Oh, he okay. I thought he jumped. I thought he fucking jumped, dude. Oh, I thought he fucking jumped. He's right, right there, bro. Breaks, dude. Uh, I, see, I see two, two lumps in his body. Could be like fish. See, see the two lumps? Yeah. That's that's food. He just felt skinny. But the good thing is he's, he's eating. He's not hiding. Did you have this? Yeah, both of them. They're 
called uh, Marble Horn. This is South America. Oh, that's crazy. The only bad part is they, they freak out over. Yeah, so I think it would smash like horns. Super rare, bro. This one's super rare. Uh, I've never, I've never seen it. It's rare to me. M M Lair Cherry by M Lair Cherry Pico. It's pretty cheap. Oh, oh, oh there's right there. more in there. Oh. How come these machines look hella, hella healthy? They do. Oh. F oh, that one. The bad one's hella crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. That one looks hella nice. Yeah. Oh, there's, like, there's a fat one right there. There's hella one. Just dump it. Dump it. Do it. Holy f there's hella in there. Oh, you're mushing it. Holy f dude, they came out of nowhere. There's so many in there. It looks cool. It looks like a saltwater puffer. That'd be pretty sick in your take. I like the way it looks. It looks like a saltwater puffer. And fins and always heal, dude. It does look healthy. It's so cheap. Why is it so cheap? Oh, wait, that's not... oh it's even cheaper than I thought. We never leave empty handed. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Before someone robbed us. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of fish you got? Uh, it's a little fish, man. Little it's gonna fish. gonna be a big one? Definitely. Uh, eventually. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? It's the next day and uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the house to check up on this Bashir. So the fish store yesterday, it went all right. Uh, my boy didn't find anything, but I found two laps that had like a nice head shape. Uh, I ended up picking up one. I was really hesitant on picking them up because they were kind of skinny. And then one of them looked like it ate uh, a really big fish. And I don't know, it just looked kind of weird, but I went ahead and just picked it up anyways. Right now the problem is, when I added it into the aquarium, I'm starting to notice this lump looks a little bit, uh, it looks a little odd. One side has like a, a big bulge and the other side has like a lump. So it looks like a fish that's kind of bent sideways. I don't think it's impaction. There's no gravel in the tanks and uh, I'm sure the wholesalers that they get it from, they're gonna be all in bare bottom anyways. There's gonna be no chance for him to even touch gravel. So we're on the way back right now to check up on this fish and uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys updates on it. All right, we're back. Let me go ahead and turn this on. I've never had six Bashirs in this tank before. Uh, this is my first time. I've only only had like uh, at most five. So this is gonna get pretty interesting. Dude, look at the Geo. The Geo went ahead and moved all that substrate from that corner, and then this corner right here, and then went ahead and put all that substrate back there behind the Enli. I don't know what the hell is going on. So here's that new Bashir right here. Look at that bump. It, it moved. Like this bump wasn't here you know what I'm saying? Like this bump wasn't like this yesterday. It was like a more flat looking. It kind of kind of went across the body. So I think he's digesting it. It should be a fish. That's kind of crazy because there wasn't any gravel in there. So hopefully it's just a fish, man. All right, we're on this side right now. You see that bump right there? That's the bump that I was concerned about in the beginning. It's it's pretty pokey. It's really really pokey. But what people say is if it's still eating, it should be okay. So. Again, like I said, I hope that that's just him eating a really big feeder fish or something, or like a really small marbled goby that was in that tank. There's the other newest addition right here doing pretty good. See how it's colored up now? Pretty nice. In a year, I think we'll be in a different place. Uh, I, I might be moving these tanks to a new location, so we should be getting a bigger tank. I was thinking about maybe like a 180 or something, maybe six or eight by 24. But we'll go ahead and see. Hopefully by that time these guys will grow out this tank and then uh, we'll go ahead and move them to the new location. This is that one point that looks weird, you know what I mean? But the other bumps look okay. Because there's hella bumps in there. It's like uh, that first bump and then the back bump. See that? It looks like a really wide fish that was in there. See, this side yesterday, I swear, it wasn't like two lumps like this. It was like flat all the way across. I'm thinking that this might even be a snail like this that they had in there. Hopefully this one doesn't have an appetite for snails because my Bashirs don't eat snails. And uh, if this one does, that's gonna suck. And the reason why I think it's just a fish in there and he's just super full is because like, look, he doesn't look stressed or anything, not clamped fins or anything. He's out and about, not skittish. 
And yeah, he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, hopefully this guy just ate a fish that's too big for it, and it's just slowly digesting it. Because if this thing is really impacted, I'm gonna have to do like Epsom salts, and the worst comes to worst, I'm gonna have to do like surgeries on this thing. So hopefully he's all right. It's not looking too stressed. It's chilling. It's not like flinging around everywhere and stuff. So should be good but that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i just never really had time to make a video like this and um me and my friend just are on different schedules and the whole pandemic stuff so going out there was just really a burden stay tuned for a part two because we're planning on heading back out there when they restock because my boy wasn't able to find a fish so we're going to try and find a fish for his 40 gallon and hopefully he finds the perfect fish the next time we go because San Francisco is kind of like a long drive for us. So yeah, stay tuned for updates on this new Bashir right here. It's a nice looking fish. I just really, really hope that whatever it ate is digestible or it'll end up passing it through and it's gonna be okay because I have never really dealt with this. I never had to worry about gravel in my Bashir tanks because I'll never keep gravel with my Bashirs. So I never really worry about impaction and stuff. So hopefully, again, it's just a really big fish that it ate. Stay tuned for updates on these guys right here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace, guys. Mm -hmm.